Hey guys, it looks like the specs for NVIDIA's upcoming 1180 are out. Not officially, but they have been leaked. Uh, and so a lot of people have been talking about the specs. Firstly, hat tip to Chris Biggers. Chris, let me know about this. This is something that actually did slip by me. I didn't see this mentioned on Twitter, so I do appreciate it. Let me know, Chris. Um, so, this is the main focus here. A boring table with lots of specifications, but there's, there's a few things to look at here um, from a mining point of view. First thing, and pr probably the most important thing here, is the CUDA cores. The 1080 had uh, 2,560. This has 3,584. And this is significant, uh, significant because that is what the 1080 Ti had. So, in many respects, the upcoming 1180 is a cheaper, they're saying $700, uh, a cheaper, more efficient 1080 Ti. That's, you know, one way to view it. Um, so, they're saying quarter 3, July 2018, we'll see what happens. Um, now, this is important, the power, um, they're saying here, the 1080 was 180 watts, they're saying 170 to 200 watts. So let's just say 180 watts. The 1080 Ti, in comparison, used 250 watts. Uh, and of course, the specs I'm looking at here, this is for the Founders Edition. These will be Founder Edition specs as well. Obviously, when other companies release their cars, like the ones I've got are OC Edition, they're, they're uh, more powerful. The core clock and the boost clock are higher. Um, so you can see the core clock here, 1600. Boost clock's 1800. Um, so the memory bandwidth, 512. That's a slight upgrade from the 484 in the, the 1080 Ti and it also says that the memory speed is 16 gigabytes per second that's quite a big jump um, it was 11 gigabytes per second um, with the 1080 Ti I believe it's 8 yes yeah, 8 in the 1080 now there's a lot of other things here as well um, I was looking at this article this article was looking at the specs as well and they were talking about you know the bandwidth was higher and the bus was higher and faster transfer rates and all that I don't believe that these transfer rates are too significant for, from a mining point of view. Um, my understanding of it is that the CUDA cores is one of the most important things because, you know, that's where the calculations are done. Um, it, well, how powerful the, the, the GPU is. Um, as far as the transfer rate goes, I'm not sure how much that matters to um, mining. But that depends on the algorithm that um, you're mining with. So, you know, there, there might be some algorithms out there that will take advantage of the GDDR6 memory. So... I don't know, don't quote me on that, but this does look like an efficient, more efficient, cheaper uh, 1080 Ti. Now, this obviously raises a few questions. The first one being, will the 1080 Ti coming down in price? Will it come down in price? Um, I think so. I think it's inevitable that it will come down in price because this new card's coming out. It's going to be more efficient. It's going to burn less electricity. And as a miner, you want to burn less electricity. Um, but I'm not sure how much it's going to drop because... You know, we could sit here and say, yeah, it's going to drop in price by a huge amount. But the fact is, cards are still going to be limited. Um, NVIDIA normally limits cards to one or two per buyer. But we've seen them kind of kind of nudge a lot of online shops to do the same, um, to limit GPU purchases to one or two. Now, there's going to be a lot of people just buying cards to sell on. Um, going to be a lot of people creating different accounts to get the cards that they want. But it should make it a little bit harder for people to just go out and buy 20 or 30 GPUs at a time. I believe the fact that the market is in a little bit of an upswing, um, 1080 Ti's will hold their value a little bit. They might drop a little bit, but I don't think they're going to crash. I don't think they're going to drop down um, too much. And I reckon if you've got a good 1080 Ti, it should be worth, you know, kind of as much as a good 1180, I believe. But we'll see what happens in the market. Um, there's nothing official yet. There's no official price yet. And, you know, this is we've not even got the Founders Edition out yet. So... If you have been waiting to mine, uh, and Chris who mes uh, messaged me about this, he has been holding back for these new cards. This could be one of the first cards that you buy. But of course, there's going to be an 1180 Ti, there's going to be an 1170, 1160, all these kind of cards coming out as well. Um, but this card does look good. It does, I mean, it, in all, all intents and purposes, it does look like, from, an, from a mining point of view, a more efficient, cheaper version of the 1080 Ti. So... Um, we'll, we'll see how efficient it is from a mining point of view. I suspect the hash rate in the soils will be quite similar to 1080 Ti's. But we will see. So I'll leave links to these articles, guys. You can check them out. Let me know what you think. If you're not mining yet, or even if you are a miner just now, let me know if you're looking to buy one of these 1180's. Um, with this news, I guess you could argue it is a great time to sell your 1080 Ti's. But again, you have to look at the value of your 1080 Ti today and the value of your 1080 Ti in a couple of months' time. Um, and then think about how much money would you make from mining over the next few months.
you need to think about all these things. It's not an exact science. You're looking at factors, a lot of different factors, and a lot of the factors you'll be looking at are unknown. So it's up to you guys whether you sell. Um, I don't think I'll be selling my cards, if I'm honest, but it's up to you guys. I'd love to hear what you think about this, uh, and I'd love to hear what you think about the 1180, uh, assuming these specs are true. So thanks for watching. Please do leave a comment, and I'll speak to you all in the next one. Take care.